and welcome back to my Let's Play of Warcraft 3. This is the second part of the intro, and I'm going to let this cutscene go before I start talking. And it is fun trying to do this because I've got bugs bouncing off the windows and stuff outside. But anyways, this is just an introduction to gathering minerals and stuff and building buildings and all sorts of fun things. And then we have to take down a human fortress that gets up and because they have they have taken away our good friend Grom Hellscream. So I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about this game and what it means to me and why I like it so much and those kinds of things. Um, to start out with, um, I remember going over to my friend's house and playing this game with him constantly. We were really into StarCraft and stuff and this was the first time that, you know, we, we really got to play, you know, a game together besides, you know, just StarCraft. We always wanted to play other strategy games and whatnot. And this was just awesome. The graphics were sweet. It was awesome to see everything in light, um, in, in full 3D, and it, it was just so much fun. We had fun playing online. We had fun, fun playing against the computer. It's it was just it was just tons of fun. Um, and the reason why is 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 I really like the hero elements in this game. Um, unlike a lot of other strategy games where just heroes were just you know units that maybe had one specialty and were just really really strong. In this game, they they were characters. They 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 were they were actual actual heroes. It had RPG elements in it. They level up, and they have lots and lots of different attacks that you can do. This is one of the few games where actual single units can change the way the game is played, and that can change the actual outcomes of battles. Um, with a lot of other strategy games, the way you would win the game is by building huge armies. Um, I'm, I, I, I'll give Star, StarCraft as an exception, though, um, to the rule, because you can win that game without huge armies and stuff, and there's some great strategies that go around that. Um, but if we're talking Age of Empires style, it's it's all about good macro, and then building up a big army, and just sending them all in to kill everybody. Um, with this, macro is really, really easy. You just gotta put people into a gold mine, get enough people gathering wood, and your income comes. And then you build an army, and then it's 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 micro central. Every unit is essential to the game, which is great because building armies and the way you build your armies becomes very important. Ratios between um, melee units and range units is actually important. People, you know, oh my gosh, I'm watching Tosh Point and there's a girl looking toilet paper right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Um, ratios between everything and casters um, is important. Casters actually cast buffs instead of doing certain things, so um, you know, you know, every, everything is kind of, everything can be changed by just having a few more of different units on the floor. It's very unwise to just charge in with one style of, of unit, which in, in most strategy games, yeah, it's it's very unwise, but not like this. This is where unit composition is very 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 important and having your heroes out heroes have all sorts of different spells they have auroras which 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 really change you know the way your units work and operate and it's it's it, it it's crazy it's it's absolutely crazy and it's it's amazing um it changes up the strategy on the battlefield too especially when you're fighting people because you want to get rid of those hero units you want to get rid of those hero units quickly because if you don't get rid of those hero units then they can wipe out your army like in, in seconds you you really really can go, can go from having all of these people to just nothing because of hero units which is great but it, it, you know that's like i said that's 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 where where the strategy actually comes in one of the hard things about this though is that 
because units matter so much, the units are expensive. Um, it's it, unlike StarCraft and WarCraft where you can, or I said WarCraft, excuse me, unlike StarCraft and Age of Empires and stuff, where re-raising your army isn't quite very, isn't very difficult. In this game, it's, it's difficult to re-raise your army. No matter how many buildings you have producing and, and whatnot, re-raising your army is tough because your army is very, very, very expensive. Um, it's time consuming and resources are a lot more scarce. There may be lots of gold mines out there and stuff, but because how expensive it is to raise your army, it, it makes it a lot more. It makes them a lot more scarce. Um, so, like I said, unit units are important in this game rather than just being something you can throw away. Um, now, another thing that I like about it is I like the races as well. Um, there are four races in this. There's humans, orcs, night elves, and the undead. And all of them are unique, and all of them play differently, and all of them are fun to play as. There's not one, uh, there's not one race in this game that I don't like playing as. All of their heroes have unique abilities, and all of them play in unique ways. Which is, I mean, Blizzard does this with their strategy games. I mean, StarCraft is, is out of this world with with that kind of stuff too. Every single, you know, Zerg, Terran, and and Protoss all play differently too. Um, but the, the one thing that, that really, really separates this, at least in my opinion, is going to be the heroes. The, the heroes are really what, what, what turn the game around, turns the tides of war, and is really what makes this fun. Um, my favorite races, I think we can go ahead and get to that. Um, I, as far as single player, I am best with humans. If I'm going um, against one versus one, definitely humans. Um, I could play also as orcs against humans, or orcs against... Um, in one versus one, but again, humans are my favorite race. I like the way that they, um, I like the way that um, their game shifts throughout throughout the game. It's very very recognizable. Um, orcs um, can make a lot of heavy heavy strong units at the beginning of the game, where the humans don't. Um, their footmen are good, but they're only good for the beginning of the game. Um, they don't get they, they're they're just they, they can be throwaway units, I guess. Um, if you want to, if you want to call them that, because I usually use them just in the beginning of the game, until I can actually start building knights, and we got a cutscene. Once I can build knights, um, then have the, after the third upgrade of the and turning um, the keep into the castle, um, then I start build, then I start working towards the heavier units. Um, one of my favorite units um, of all time is actually the priest. I love having them. They cast um, two different spells. They can heal you, and then they can cast a spell that makes your unit stronger as well. Um, so I really like them. Um, the orc is really fun to play as because I like their strong units. Um, it, 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 I, I really like the uh, the grunts at the very beginning of the game too because I, they, they're just they're just one of the strongest units, uh, strongest beginning units that you can get, and you can plow through armies with them. Um, the shaman casts bloodlust, which is my favorite spell, and you can just destroy and plow through armies with, with when you have them with them. But you have to have a little bit of you have to have you have to be careful too because your army can get plowed through really quickly too. Um, the, the um the um the horde uh the orc also have uh witch doctors as well and they and um when they get fully upgraded you can actually cast healing spells with them which can make which which can make your army virtually invincible if you have the correct ratio um night elves um I'm a chimera freak um when I play multiplayer I usually um, and I'm playing with the team. I usually play with night elves because I can rush chimeras cr like crazy. So uh, I'm, I've never lost a game online with with night elves, which is kind of surprising. Um, but that was way back when I was playing this game, almost every single day. Um, undeads, a l I, I'm a little bit weaker um, with because I don't practice with them very much. Um, the undead, uh, I like their casters. 
Um, they're necromancers, um, can raise skeletons from the dead. Um, so I like the way those are, but but other than that, um, I, if I use if I use undead, I just rush with undead because you start out with some units that can attack that do pretty good damage, and I and I just rush. So other than that, um, that that's pretty much it. Um, I just, the, the game, I like the game, I think it's balanced well, I think it's a lot of fun to play. People still play it online, although I've having, been having trouble getting online with some other people as, um, the last couple of times that I've played, unfortunately. Um, I plan on putting up a, uh, a, a, a 3 vs 3, 4 vs 4, and free for all um, against the computer on this, as well as um, playing some stuff online here, sh here pretty shortly. Um, I'm also going to put up a multiplayer video of uh, uh, Warcraft 2 because that game's still awesome. And tonight I'm actually going to put up a, or try to put up a, uh, a 4 vs 4 and free for all with um, the original StarCraft on Big Game Hunters. Um, so, I've got some stuff I've got to do, but again, this this game is just has been such a good has been such a good thing to, good good thing to me throughout my life has kept me entertained and and lots of people have enjoyed this um, when we get to the next episodes and stuff it's gonna be a little bit different I'm gonna start talking about the game a little bit more um, uh, the, the actual storyline a little bit more and other things like that rather than rambling on and on and on about you know how much I love the game um, but that was another thing I actually was gonna talk about one of, one of the things that really impresses me about Blizzard is they're really one of the only companies um, that can make um, strategy games like this that actually have these deep, engrossed storylines that are just out. They're, they're just made amazingly, and the voice acting is great. I mean, everything about it is just everything about it is just great. Um, Starcraft blew me away. The storyline in Starcraft in Starcraft is just out of this world. The storyline in this is great too. Most people don't realize that, especially a lot of World of Warcraft players, because they were more, because they never played this, that World of Warcraft exi Warcraft existed before uh, uh, Warcraft existed before the World of Warcraft, and and you know, and you'll find out in the next level that Arthas is, was really a good person until getting corrupted and turning into the dick that he actually was, Lich King. Um, so there's a lot of just, there's a lot of stuff that you don't. That a lot of people just don't know because they've never played this game, and this is a game for strat that any strategy fan should play. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, I don't really have too much else I can say about this. Just got to kill off these last two towers. I went, I did really good without using losing a unit, and then I didn't, and then I just didn't switch up my guys here, and I end up losing the shaman. But you know what? Whatever. I still produced a ton of guys, and I still have a lot of money, and I got people sitting over at my base and whatnot, so I'm going to let this la last cutscene happen here, here in just a second, and then uh, we will uh, see you on the flip side. I'm Chubby Cheez-It, the Three Heart Runners, and I'm out.